Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2017 Aerolite 204ES. This is a nice, big, expandable unit with a slide out on there. The great thing about it is it still comes in at under 4,500 pounds. Let's go ahead and start on the outside for a little bit and then we'll make our way in. So being an expandable unit, the big advantage of them is the fact you get a lot of floor space because your beds tip out like so. Uh, these are often called a hybrid camper because it's kind of a cross between your regular travel trailer and a pop-up. The great thing about your hybrids or expandable units though is they take a fraction of the time to set up. You literally just undo these right here. This will drop down. There are cables inside. Those cables can support up to 1,100 pounds. So you don't have to put anything un uh, underneath anymore to help support it. The cables do all the work for you. Uh, the great thing about this too is it won't mold as long as you take care of it. Make sure you dry it out after it rains and you'll be good to go. They've improved these a lot over what you're probably used to if you have an older pop-up. Right underneath here is your propane tanks. Uh, that does have a cover on there. You'll have two 20-pound tanks underneath that. Right behind that, if you can see, you have rails for your battery box. And then coming up the front right here is black diamond plating. This will help protect the front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by the tow vehicle. If you come around to the side, one of the cool things is this right here, something new that Airlight's putting on their expandables, and that is solar prep. So if you plan on being out, you know, maybe doing some boondocking and you want to make sure your batteries aren't depleting, you can hook up the solar right here. It will trickle charge those batteries. So that's definitely a nice little upgrade. Right in there is your pass-through storage. Now it's not super wide, but it is pretty tall. So if you have uh, some longer items, maybe you have fishing poles or uh, you know some light firewood that you want to throw in there, some marshmallow pokers, things like that, that is definitely a great spot to do it. And it is a pass-through, so you can grab it on the other side there as well. You have one entry into the coach, which is all you need. Double steps on here, you'll see the one is nice and low to the ground, so it is easy to climb up in there as well. Uh, let's talk about the exterior real quick. This is uh, fiberglass, obviously, it's why it's the smooth side. It's a laminated sidewall with six-sided aluminum cage. So that's a big deal when you're talking about construction. Not only is it nice and strong, but it also helps lighten it up for weight. Power awning all the way across the top there. Just touch a button that rolls out. Same thing to go right back in. And then you have an LED light strip underneath. So that way, if you want some light at night, you don't have to hang your own up. You just flip a switch and you're ready to go. Right here are your TV connections. So if you want an outside TV, you'll see you have electric hookup right up top and then your cable or satellite outlet right there underneath. Double axle on this coach. Uh, you will see it has aluminum alloy rims, which not only look really nice, but they also help prevent rust and corrosion. They're also nitrogen filled tires. Uh, so that way, you know, hopefully it'll last a little bit longer and get a little bit smoother uh, ride going down the road. Right up top there underneath the awning are your two exterior speakers. Now those are controlled by our multimedia center inside, however it's Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can sit right out here and be able to control those from outside. Come around to the back side, this is the second bed right over here. Same thing as the front, has the two cables, 1,100 pounds on there. And then right back here is your spare tire. As you will notice, that is also nitrogen filled. So right over here on the off-door side are your connections. One of the cool things Airlight does, they give you a light here. If you're anything like me, uh, anytime you go camping, you're setting up, it's generally after work, and half the time it's getting dark. So it is really nice to have the light to be able to see what you're doing while hooking up. You have an outside spray port here, so if you need access to water outside, that's where you'd have that. Cable inlet, if you have part cable right there. Water connection, your city water, and then this right here is your black tank flush. Uh, what this is, if you're not familiar, is rather than taking a hose and sticking it down your toilet to wash out your black tank, you just screw it in right there, and that uh, black tank has sprayers built in, it will wash it out for you. Then right over here is your 30 amp detachable power cord. Terminations, again, are right underneath. You can see both your gray and black valve there. And as I mentioned, there is that light, so it is nice and easy to see what you're doing. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Aerolite 204 ES. This particular model is in the French roast interior. Let's start off on the front right here. So I showed you when we were outside, the nice big bed, 
as I mentioned, right here are your cables that give you all the support. And then you have this shepherd's hook right here, which holds up the tent material. If you take a look at the bedding itself, you'll see how big and thick this is. That way you have nice, comfortable uh, night sleep. You don't have to worry about feeling, you know, the wood or anything underneath you. And then right in front, you have this huge U-shaped dinette. I really like this in the floor plan. Uh, it's very functional. Generally, on a U-shaped dinette, you struggle to get enough uh, or have enough leg room for everyone to sit around or your plates are all cramped because the table is half this size, but not the case here. You have the big table, the nice big dinette, the whole family can sit around here and eat a meal together. And if you need extra sleeping space, the table does drop down into a bed. Uh, so that way you get this as of ex exactly that, an extra bed. Right over here is the slide out. Uh, in the slide out, you have the jackknife sofa, which is a great place to spit, uh, <laughs> sit, not spit. Great place to sit, especially if you want to watch TV. I'll show you where that gets hooked up at in just a moment. This also will fold down into a smaller bed if you have uh, smaller kids that are with you. Windows all the way around to let in a ton of natural light, especially being a hybrid. Uh, they're nice and bright anyway during the day. But take a look at the ceiling. Aerolight has a ton of LED lights in here, which is awesome. That way it's really bright at night too. Far too often, this is where manufacturers skimp out. Uh, they don't put near enough lights in and it seems really dark and dingy at night. Not the case in here. Right across the top of the slide, you see you have some extra storage up there, which is great too. Uh, before we move to the kitchen, one last thing I do want to note, right down on the side, you have an electrical outlet right there. So if you need to plug in a laptop or tablet while you're sitting at the table, that is where you would do so. Uh, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, when you're sitting on the couch, you can watch TV. This is where your TV would go. So if you see right up here, you have hookups coming from your DVD player, which is what this is. That multimedia center I talked about when we were outside that controls your speakers and everything. That is also a DVD player. So you can hook that into the TV. Underneath here, you have your electrical outlet there as well. Nice little cubby hole here to the side for some extra storage. Again, LED lights underneath, making your kitchen space nice and bright right down here on the countertop. Speaking of the countertop, you can take a look at the prep space there. You have all this for prep space, which is nice. Three burner cooktop there with an oven. You can see that right there. Uh, Atwood cooktop, so nice quality cooktop. The front one is high output there too. Then you also have a double bowl sink in here with a high rise faucet. So again, they're not skimping out on components, giving you, uh, you know, nice full size stuff in here. Uh, back up top real quick, you have your stainless steel hood with light and fan, microwave right there front and center. And then right over here, you have some pantry space. Then underneath the countertop, you have three drawers, full extension ball bearing drawers. The first one here is perfect for your silverware. Then if you take a look at the two down below here, uh, they are nice and deep. So that way if you have some larger items that need to go in there, that is where you can put them. Right underneath the sink here, you'll see you have a couple little cutouts right there. If you want to put spices or something in there, whatever you want to uh, put there, you have a little bit of extra room. And then same thing underneath the sink, there's plenty of room there for any chemicals. Right underneath, take a look at this. Speakers, right? You want to be able to jam out, as I mentioned, you want to do it in here. The multimedia center will play the speakers right in here, which is cool. Uh, oh, showed you that storage. But the other pantry storage I want to show you is right here. Take a look at this. You have massive pantry storage right there, which is great. Nice and big. Two drawers right down below. So if you want to use those for extra pantry storage, you can do that. Or you can use it for wardrobe, which I'll show you in just a moment. But before we do, right here is your Norcold fridge freezer combo. Big and uh, Lots of cold storage here, nice and big. Uh, this one does have automatic switch over, runs off of propane and electric, uh, and it will automatically switch over for you. Then you'll also notice right down here is an electrical outlet. So again, if you're sitting at the couch, you need to plug something in, that's where you would do it. Another thing I want to point, up, uh, point at is this right here. This unit is equipped with an AC. So on those really hot days when opening up the windows and unzipping the, the sides and the front of the beds, when that cross breeze just isn't enough, it's unbearable, you can turn this AC on and it will quickly cool this coach down. Now right over here, take a look at this. This is absolutely awesome. You have 
massive wardrobe space in here. You have three doors, the hanging rod going all the way across. So you have plenty of room for uh, you know, your clothes, the kids' clothes, whatever else you need. Just massive wardrobe space in there. Little bit of additional storage here underneath. And then again on the side, you have storage right there. That's nice and big too. So if you want to put like a trash can or something in there, you can easily do that. Now you'll see there's an electrical outlet right down here by the bed. That way, who's ever back here, if they need to plug in a cell phone, you know, maybe, maybe it's a rainy day and the kids need some electronic entertainment. So you give them a tablet. Perfect. They can plug it in right here. They have their own little space, little privacy curtain going across. This one sets up the same as the one in front. Then you'll also notice you have a little bit of additional storage right up top there too. Right over here is the bathroom. So take a look at the bathroom. You know you have a full bathroom in here. It's extremely functional. Foot flush lever toilet there. Linen closet. You know you don't see that in trailers that you know are, are five, six foot bigger than this. So awesome linen closet right there. Uh, if you look up top you can see your vent to quickly help moisture escape. Mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. Your sink top and vanity, vanity there, additional storage there too. And then over to the side here, you have a tub shower. That way if you have to give the kids a bath, you can do so. You can see a shelf there, hand wand. Then a nice big skylight up top, letting in a lot of natural light. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2017 Aerolite 204ES. This one is in the French roast interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.